This is the best defense in Madden 24. It shuts down any run play. It lights out against the pass. It gets instant sacks all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Stick around after the intro. I just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. It's Madden 24's official early release day, so I wanted to put out a defense that will break the game before it even comes out. The playbooks that I'm using today are once again my New Orleans Saints offense and multi D defense, and I already have an ebook out for both of them on all of my sites. Patreon, my Join Now community button, my website, madmoneyshot.com. If you guys want to check out any of them, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment to download them instantly. And to make this defense even more toxic, I'm going to be using my 2024 future Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles because this defense is all about speed at the linebacker spots and the Eagles might have more of that than any other team in the game thanks to their 93 speed rookie Nolan Smith and absolute nightmare on the other side of the field and Hassan Reddick. The formation is the 3-4 odd, which was a dominant formation in the game several months ago. I'm going to be using three different plays for this scheme. The first play is your typical man zero blitz in the pinch buck zero. The second defense is the cover for drop. And the third defense is the cover for quarters, which I'm not going to go over much in today's video, but I do plan on making more videos about this defensive Woo! scheme in the future. So if you guys want to see more from this, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. The next thing you need to do for this scheme to work best is in the coaching adjustments. I just put out a video about the best coaching adjustments to use in Madden 24. So if you guys want to learn more, I once again have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The most important coaching adjustment to set here for this scheme is to put your auto alignment to base. This will make your defense look exactly the same pre-snap every single time regardless of what play you call, which will make it that much harder to play against. Now, whether you're using the cover for drop or the pinch buck zero, the setup is exactly the same. All I'm going to do to set up this defense is to pinch the entire defense by hitting the RB or the R1 button and down on the left stick, and that's pretty much it. There are more things that you can do from here, but this is the most important part, is it will close up all the inside run lanes, bring the safeties into the box who act like extra run defenders, and also gets the outside linebackers into position for the blitz. After that, you have a lot of options, but I like the baseline every single time as it will drop back the outside cornerbacks, but not the safeties, because I want the safeties in the box to act like run defenders and if the cornerbacks are too close to the line of scrimmage they can get burnt easily on streaks no matter what defense you're in from here i can run this defense just like this as it is a very effective zone defense this year but i also like to use this defense more as a pressure package so the last step i usually do is to blitz all linebackers which is d-pad to the left and down on the right stick from here i'll also want to use your one of the blitzing linebackers usually whoever is closest to the running back or the side with the most receivers then hover over the guard gap pre-snap before dropping back into coverage and on the first play my blitzing middle linebacker tackles the entire offense for a four yard loss right at the handoff point. Doing this too much will leave you with no underneath coverage though, so you can't do this on every single play as your opponent will eventually figure it out. But that's where the pinch bug zero comes in, as you will want to alternate between these two plays so that your opponent can never tell whether it's a man or a zone blitz. As you can see, my opponent tries to throw underneath again, only this time to get met with a tight man coverage that he wasn't expecting. <laughs> Your ass down. That's what makes this defense so tough. You have no pre-snap read, which means you have to make a good pre-snap read in a half a second before you get sacked. From here though, the lag takes over and prevents me from even setting up the defense properly half of the time as he suddenly starts to run hurry up making this very easy defense to set up even harder to set up properly. He keeps coming on an empty backfield look, so on the next play, I switch to the pinch buck zero, user the blitzing linebacker, and hover the guard gap pre-snap to get a free rusher off the outside and get an instant sack fumble. I don't get to run a play on offense though as he lags out or maybe turned off the game, I really don't know. See ya! In the next game, I go up against everyone's favorite new Madden team in the New York Jets. New game and team, but the same setup and results. Oh! We get an A-gap pressure this time to welcome Aaron Rodgers to New York. As you can get pressure from the inside linebackers also, before we do it on the next play to get a sack this time, forcing him to punt. On offense, I'm going to be using the gun stack wide flex offense, which to me is the best offense in Madden 24. I try to take the top off of the next play, but it feels like deep passing in general is either nerfed, broken, or just so different right now that it's going to take a few games to get used to. Yeah. As I throw an interception at midfield. 
Back on defense, I go with the Cup 4 drop, which is probably the much better run defense because of how the safeties play. On the next play, I switch to the man zero blitz, and now we're getting pressure from everywhere as my defensive end, Brandon Graham, comes off unblocked before Son Reddick finishes the job to get me the ball back. Does it look familiar? From here, I decide to run the ball a little just to guarantee some points before I read cover zero, hurry it up, and swing it out to the running back for an easy walk and touchdown in the flats. That's just too easy. Back on defense, nothing has changed as Aaron Rodgers has the fastest release in the game. But he's still getting sacked before he can get the ball away. On the next play, you can see how confusing this setup is as my opponent is calling man zero blitz plays against my cover four as the wide trail is a play with all man beaters. He gets into a fourth and one, which he picks up as he quick hikes me again before I get my linebacker set. I decide to run at once without blitzing because every once in a while you're going to want to try to bait your opponent into throwing a quick throw into one of your zones. But this is probably the least effective. So in the next play, I go right back to the blitz and blow him up for a two-yard line. Loss. Bring that ass here, boy. Before setting the heat on third down again to get another sack and force another punt. On offense, I keep trying to go deep, but I'm still having trouble connecting as I go back to the running back and hitting dink and dunk plays just to move the chains. Ah! My opponent is also running man zero blitz, only he is stuck in Madden 23 and running the same dime normal DB blitz zero defense that I put out last year. Ah. And you can see it is much less effective as I'm just bullying him on the ground. Before I get the running back in the flats one more time as he is still not paying enough attention out here. So I'm going to keep doing it. He switches to cover through in the next play. So I switch to the speed up route on the other side of the field for another walk-in touchdown. Back on defense and back to going backwards as Miles Jack shoots the gap for another loss. Before I almost get an interception on the very next play. Before we end the half on another sack. The fifth of the half. In the second half, I get ball and I'm still trying to connect deep, but it's just not working. So I take the check down for the first before I check it down to the, my entire offense in the form of DeAndre Swift. I keep taking deep shots and missing by a mile despite not even pass leading anymore. And now I feel like Matt is just trying to help this guy out. How is that out of bounds? I take the field goal just to get a three possession lead. And now my opponent's game plan is swing routes and short passes that honestly should have been intercepted anyway. He starts to get some good carries and I'm really trying to get a shout out here for this gameplay video. But I think that Madden has a keep it close function that's playing in his favor. As on the next play, quick hikes me again before I get to set up my entire defense. And he walks it all the way in for the score. But with not a lot of game left, I'm not taking any chances, so I switch to a run-heavy attack to kill what's left of the third quarter before going right back to the gun stack wide flex offense and swinging it back to the running back. Hey. I try the cover three bomb one more time, but this new passing is extra touchy, so I go right back to the more accurate throw underneath. As these are much easier right now, I'm just trying to turn over the chains before almost punching in with the exact same route a few plays later and then finishing it off with the one-inch punch. My opponent doesn't rage quit yet though, so on the next play, I blitz myself Surprise, motherfucker! before saying the house to knock him back to third and 25. From here, I really don't care if he completes a short pass since he needs 25 yards, so I use the cover for a drop as I really just want to protect deep anyway. And he does take the short pass to get him back to a fourth and 12, but he still needs 12 yards, so from here, I do it again. How about new? No? And that's all, folks as my opponent has finally had enough. If you guys want to see more tips to help out your game in Madden 24, I will have the video I made about coaching adjustments popping up on screen, as well as the first video that I put out about this defense. So if you want to check them out, just click the links and I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. If you just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.